so hi and welcome to another DCG tutorial so today we're working on 2014 paper uh, section A and we're going to work on question A2 now so question A2 the 3d graphic below shows a piece of play equipment from a science museum it includes a truncated hexagonal prism the drawing on the right shows the incomplete projections of a similar hexagonal prism uh, which is being cut by the oblique plane VTH okay so we have our 3d graphic here we have our elevation and our plan of that hexagon based prism. You see the hexagon here in the auxiliary view. And it's been cut by this plane here, VTH. So that oblique plane is actually cutting through the, uh, the prism. An auxiliary elevation also given. So here's our auxiliary elevation showing when it's cut. A. Complete the plan and elevation of the cut prism. And then B. Determine the true shape of the cut prism. So, first things first. Complete the plan elevation of the cut prism. So, what we're given here is parts of the elevation, parts of the plan, and it's from the auxiliary elevation that we actually complete them. So, if you see again, look at the drawing, figure out what they are giving you, what they are showing you. So, the auxiliary uh, elevation is projected along the same angle as the horizontal trace. So, that's giving you your angle here. Now, look at this point here. That is this line here is the edge there so that's the top surface and these are the two slope surfaces so that's the edge there and it's showing you where it hits the vertical or this oblique plane at that point is where the line stops project it back and that's where the line stops here and it's showing you where it's cut okay same thing here the two bottom lines there these two points brought back that's where they stop so to make things a bit easier for us on this one i'm going to put in a bit of labeling so we're going to label our six points so we'll start off with zero up here one two three four and five okay could start off with one doesn't matter so in elevation then this is zero and one okay we have the lines five and two and then we have four and three down here okay in plan then this is zero this is one and then on the edges here we have two at the back five at the front and then also at the bottom there underneath zero and one we have four and we have three now i'm not going to bother labeling the far side anything different i'm just going to assume the whole line is for zero and the whole line is for one all right so as you see here this is where five finished they projected back and that gave you where five stopped there okay same thing down here for the bottom lines there that's for points four and three that's where four four and three ended so let's do the rest now so we need to project back from the auxiliary elevation at the same angle as the horizontal trace so i'm just going to use my just for sets again to set up the angle quickly so i can repeat it for all my points okay that's the angle here so where the uh oblique plane cuts through all of them so that's that point here so we need to bring this one down now okay so that's for zero and one and you know they're at the top here so drawing those across and this is where zero and one stop so your shape is going to be the same as before you have join them up zero one two three four five so zero joins over to one have that one joins down to two and two stops there so your drawn it's going to start or your shapes going to start looking like this two goes down to three that was line three three to four four to five and five goes right back to zero to finish off the shape okay zero and one will continue over because they're at the bottom there or three and four i should say they need to continue over to here and there'll be in hidden detail because they're at the bottom now let's project up to the elevation so again we have our heights here let's extend those over this is the height for zero and one this is the heights for five and two so project them up this is where the point zero stops so we're projecting that up and this is point zero this is point one projected up so that's where the line's going to stop because they will be 
in front of each other, so that's going to be a strong line across. Five projected up is going to be in front, so let's see where five stops. So that's the point five there, it's the five line here, that's point five. Alright, this is zero, one. Project up point two, which is already done for us, this is point two here. And then that is point three, and this is point four, which is also already done for us. So again, join them up as per usual, as the per the number, per the labouring, right? So zero to one, one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five. So one joins down to two here. Three to four technically is already done. Four back up to five. Five back up to zero. All right, and that's everything done. So that can be drawn in strong now. Bend your lines to meet them. Strong. And then hidden details because that is the surface at the bottom. That is part A done. So you're going to use your auxiliary view to project back to find your points and then just use your projection systems to project it back. Part B now, determine the true shape of the cut surface. So we need an edge view of that cut surface, all right? We need to see the edge of it to get the true shapes of it. And to find the true shape, we have the edge view here. That is the cut surface. That is the oblique plane and it's cutting through here. So to get the true shape of that, what we're going to do is rotate these two heights around this point here to bring them down parallel to the XY line. Project the back same angle as the horizontal trace and then project our, five, our six points from the plan down to meet them and that will give you a true shape all right so first things first rotate each one of these heights okay because that's the true shape there that's the cut surface rotate that around until you have it on the x1 y1 line Now what we have is the heights for points 5 and 2 and the heights here for points 0 1 and their true length. We're objecting down parallel. Bring down here the marker just so it stands out a bit more. Parallel to the horizontal trace. Remember the adjustable sets were set up to the same angle as the horizontal trace, so they are parallel to that. And I need to project now to find my point. So we already have the distance for 3 and 4 brought down, so this is point 3 here, that's point 4, so that's going to be the base, that's the true length already, that's going to be the base of the true length. Now we need to project the other 4 points down, and they have to go through the horizontal trace, and they have to go perpendicular to the horizontal trace. So you can project your points down perpendicular to that horizontal trace there. Okay, so bring all of them down. And the labeling is gonna help here again because we have three and four or three and four here, and then this is point two, so follow that down, and the height for two is here, so that point two. This point here is point one is at the top and this is the height of point one here. Point zero is on this line here again that's at the top this is point zero. Point five is on this point and the height for it is the mid height here so that's point five. And then is that that's our four points and leads back down to the base there. So join them all up again the same procedure as the same as the labeling. And there is your true shape. Okay, that's the true shape of the cut surface there on the prism. 
So complete the plan elevation of the cut prism, that's done. And part B, determine the true shape of the cut surface. And that's now also done. So nice oblique plane question there. Uh, hope that helped. Uh, if it did, please leave a like. And if you want to see certain topics done, please let me know in the comment section below. Okay, thank you and good luck.